Yes, you idiot, it's me back again, you idiot, please, with another episode of the Bayern Munich career mode. I'm going to get straight into it today, episode number three, against RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga, probably the biggest test of the career mode so far. So, if you're enjoying the daily uploads, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like. Obviously, just to keep this series going, I know it's new when the channel is new, but we are aiming for growth every day. And that is the plan. So, starting off with the the episode there today, um, looking to get a win from this game. I said three points, big three points needed, especially against Leipzig. But early on, we've given a free kick away with Joshua Kimmich in the fourth minute, and it is in shooting distance. So I remember giving this away, and I was just absolutely livid with myself so early on in such a dangerous to position to give uh, a free kick away. So as you can see, by you now we've got Sabitza stepping up, I believe, to take the free kick, uh, 23 yards out, and he's just absolutely nailed it, isn't he? Let's be honest. It's so early to concede a goal again it's, it's come back down to that entire thing of us conceding first but it's, it's just another defensive mistake but I think this is going to be something that'll iron out um, or, uh, as the season progresses it's still early on I know we should be doing a little better but it's, it's all about keeping positive and you know making sure we can get back into the game that's the important thing so obviously while he's celebrating just want to check in obviously I hope you're all doing well thank you again for coming in and watching the video it does mean a lot to me uh, I think the nerves are sort of, sort of starting to wear off now other than tripping over myself a few times but the first episode or two you know it can sound a bit monotonous and uh, as if I'm not interested, but believe me, it's some of the, one of the most exciting projects I've been involved in for myself. And I'm just excited to get going, guys, just sort of easing up now and sort of finding my rhythm and trying to figure out what works for me. But as you can see, Gretz gets in with it and gets us back on level terms uh, within about four minutes, so it's brilliant for me, to be honest with you. It was nice to see the fight and the desire in the boys straight from conceding and just trying to get that ball forward and get into the box and get a goal. And uh, yeah, so Nabri, I believe it was, played it inside, and then Lewandowski with the assist. And I think m w throughout the season, I think Gretz, because that type of midfielder, he is going to get goals for us. He does like the bomb forward, he's quick, he's strong, and he, he, he's just a good player to have in the team if I'm honest with you and he's still relatively young so there's still room for growth with him and with dynamic potential being a whole different thing an animal this year compared to what it was last year I just see I, I honestly believe if we do T2 seasons we'll probably be looking at around about 88 89 overall rated Goretzka but again off the back of that 23 minutes in and who is it? It's none other than Lewandowski. This man just steps up when you need a goal. So important for us as a player. And, you know, uh, I just couldn't... I, I, I wouldn't want another striker in the team. You could offer me Ronaldo. You could offer me Messi to play centrally. But at the moment, I just think he's an absolute quality player to have in this side. And he, he, he's wonderful. Like, I can't... Like can't talk highly enough of Lewandowski and you know being able to control him as a player for this team. But I think we're gonna have to get used to seeing that celebration throughout because he's got a few goals already, four goals now uh, in the Bundesliga, and I, I definitely hope we can break the 30 goal uh, mark at least with him in the Bundesliga and get uh, at, at least the double digits in the Champions League as well. This might be ideal for the counter. But Nabri. He's just looking to break down the side at the moment and Sane again is in behind. Play that ball into Goretzka and I don't know why but I just absolutely messed that up. Rather than take the shot on I didn't feel confident enough with him at that point for the in that position. And I thought I'd try a quick little layoff to Lewandowski but in the end it just completely cocks up that move and that, that, that passage of play. 
But we're back now after half time. Nothing else really happened in the first half, so we've got Nabry now playing it into Lewandowski, who's holding it up. Just sort of takes it back, plays it to Kimmich. Looks for Coleman. Back to Nabry. Lewandowski's in. A bit of a weird deflection, but safe enough in the end for Galaxy to collect and sort of allow the team to get their shape back and go from there. Poor header then. Uh, outside, Kimmich looks for the ball out to Sane, but it doesn't quite come off. Paulson then is uh, up top, keeping the ball, plays it back to Tyler Adams, to Kevin Lima, and then Juan Ki Chan. Alstenberg, Lima, looks for that ball down to Sabitza, who, other than the free kick, didn't really do much at, up to this point. But that's a great save from Manuel Neuer, I think. Sabitza, sh Sabitza should be doing better in that position, but I can't fault the save from Manuel Neuer there. And that was a great tackle as well. Goretzka then gets the ball, plays it up to Lewandowski. I don't think he's got the pace, but is he going to be able to get the shot away and get the goal? Of course he is. It's Robert Lewandowski at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? This guy, he's just got goals in him. Bags of them. That's, uh, that's it. He's going to hit the... He, he, I, I just don't see how we're not going to hit 30 goals this season with him. Absolutely for that fabulous striker. But part of me today was doubting his legs, and you know he's he's not slow, but he's not you know <laughs> your Kingsley Coleman, Alfonso Davis type of quick. But in terms of his attacking position, he's in the right spot, so I think he he gave himself the chance to make make sure he had the, you know the run at goal to get that in. <laughs> Kingsley Coleman, but they should be doing better for me personally. Um, I believe I, I, you know, I, I aimed a little bit further across. Good save from Galaxy, but I, I should be doing better. But that's it, guys. That's how the game would go to end against Leipzig. Got a nice 3 1 win, three points on the table. And let's just hope we keep that up. Straight in then to the first Champions League game of the season I believe against Lokomotiv Moscow I thought we'd get away with the sim in this game just sort of so we can get more games and I believe there's five games played in this episode uh, so we'll just make sure that it's either four or five games but so this would be the first Champions League game of the campaign for us and I said I'm fairly confident the side that we've got is we're gonna get it the three points in this game. You can see uh, Jerome Boateng is in the starting lineup. He came to me before the game and was like, you know, uh, I fancy getting a start gaffer. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I got less than 12 months on my contract and just let me get involved. But so far, so good from us. 12 minutes in, 1 0. Offside there from uh, Kingsley Coleman. But. Playing the ball around nowhere in the park. Coleman again to Pavard. Gonna, and then and possession is lost then. What can he do from here? Rebus with it. I don't know why, but I always feel a little bit nervous when the ball is played out to the wing and that that's why, especially in that position. Uh, seems to be even with compared to the more turned off this year, there's that bit more trickery from you know the, the wide men that you'd normally expect in some instances. Uh, whether that's just drag backs or the odd step over or something else, but it's nice to see it done and it does throw you off in the odd game. So it's it's a good little thing and it's nice to see players trying something. The, the AI, AI players try something a little bit different. But we've got a corner here now, and we play it in and just cleared off of the line, as you can see by there. But we we, we are retaining possession, and it's good to see. And I'm just hoping that we can pull it out to the bag here and bump two, and that's Joshua Kimmich with his goal. And I just think, I said again, that midfield, especially the, the two sitting back in Kimmich and Gretzka, are going to be crucial for us. And I'm excited for Thomas Muller to come back, to be honest with you. I think as good as Nabry has been in that central role behind the striker, I can't wait to have him back in his preferred position, playing out on the right for me. I know it means dropping Kingsley Coleman, but I, I, I just want him back there and Muller back in the team. 
but as you can see Boateng has scored you know proven to me myself uh, and not just like you lot as well that he deserves to be in the team you know he's, I said he's come to me before the game asking for a start and I've given him a chance and he's, he's sort of saying you know this is what happens when you play me I know I'm a centre half but I'll get you goals from corners I'll come up big do you know what I mean but yeah Thomas Muller I cannot wait to have that man back in the squad I know it was a seven week injury and it kind of come at the start of the season but that man's work great just in, in that attack in midfield road he's going to get back and defend but he's also lethal in front of goal and we were offside there unfortunately would have been nice to get the fourth but I'm fairly confident in this team and you know we're not going to throw a 3-1 lead away against many teams if at all uh, my main concerns really are Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga uh, Gladbach, I think uh, Leipzig but we've already beaten them earlier on in the episode and then we've got the other big teams then that we'll end up coming up against in the Champions League and we do have a game against Atletico in this episode so you'll see how we get on in that but the result was never in doubt there was it so just scrolling through so you can see the goal scorers in case you want to have another look and obviously you can see Marseille beat Porto 3-2 uh, Going into the lineup here, if you want to have a pause, just to have a look. This is our game against uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach earlier on, just mentioned a few minutes ago. Now, you know, I do believe they are one of the teams that may give us some problems in the Bundesliga this season. Um, and definitely wary they could take a few points from us. But Sané they should be burying that. I think that's the type of goal that you'd see him score on many occasions and will see him score again throughout the season just hitting the ball across the, the keeper but Tremendous wasn't ball. the best shot that Another he's had um, and quite poor there if you ask me so we've got Goretzka the there front. playing back just trying to defend and help the defence out and uh, Kramer then is just trying but that's, that's poor to lose the ball in that area he shouldn't be doing that that's really bad and David Alaba has again given away a penalty. I've got to take some of the blame, obviously. I'm in control. But it's just what is he doing, man? Like, again, he's just getting dragged. And for me, personally, in that angle, I'm not too sure. I don't know if you guys would agree. Is that a penalty? Maybe I should have looked into it from a different angle. But it kind of looked like nothing happened. And there was no contact made. And it was a bit of a spaz out in the game. A bit of a glitch. But that's it, Stindl puts that away. And Munch and Gladbach are 1 0 up. And this is not great, is it? We're going in at half time by the looks of it. 1 uh, 0 down against Munch and Gladbach. And we are at home as well, so not an ideal result for the Allianz uh, Arena and the Bayern fans to be dealing with going into half time brilliant penalty in terms of it's just smashed into the roof of the net really isn't it but frustrating another game where we've gone 1-0 down and it's, it's not ideal Over it comes. but poor clearance there from Coleman luckily Neuer gets land to him and punches it away trying to jockey and there now to make sure Turam doesn't get a shot away uh, Zachary is in but luckily for us there uh, that goes sailing wide I think maybe Noya was rooted to the spot at that point nothing's happened again up to the 63rd minute now Nabri plays it into Lewandowski he's holding up trying a little bit of tricky feet but it's a poor pass in the end and nothing comes he didn't have no support from any of the teammates then Sula then and Alaba are tracking back there a the bit, little bit out of position uh, and then Alfonso Davis is just trying to get that ball we're not able to make a tackle and then Bolo low and hard down into that bottom uh, right hand corner uh, Neuer's right hand corner and then that's it it's 2-0 it's, it's then to Munch and Gladbach and we are looking like dropping three points in the Bundesliga year against they said a team that will cause us trouble but I just think certain things have gone against us ga this game. Uh, firstly, that Sane shot should have been put away. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I pushed, I, I changed the tactics from the uh, D pad there into a team press. 
Lewandowski, you know, man of the hour. But is it going to be enough to get us the point? That's, that's sort of what I'm aiming for at this moment. That's my mindset. I'd be happy with the point now. Obviously, we've gone 2 0 down. It's not good enough. But that's what I want. I want, I want at least a point from this game. But the question is, are we going to get it? Six goals in the Bundesliga now for Robert Lewandowski. And you know, I mean, the team are set to the press now, so they'll they'll go for it. Uh, they've got 13 minutes to get an equaliser, so it's definitely doable. And this is just what frustrates me now with chances that have been missed. And Nabri is going to try and break away, but defender's just too strong for him and well positioned, so there's no chance he's getting round him. Pavard down will head up down to Kimmich, who will play it up to Tolisso, who's come on in place of Goretzka. And Stindl looks for the over the top through ball down to Turam, but it's, it's well. Um, cut out by Benjamin Pavard plays it up to Nabri Taliso there has got the sprint through into the middle but again that defender just gets in front and I think he's got to be stronger there he's got to show you know he's he, that was a bit weak he's not the weakest midfielder in the world and I think he should have maybe tried to enforce himself a little bit and get that shot away but as I said, it's been one of those games where things just haven't gone our way. Um, another day, this is a, a, another three points on the board for us. But as you can tell, we're pushing the 90th minute now. And at this point, I think the the, the loss was sort of set for us. And, and unfortunately, this is going to be where we drop three points. The ref blows. Uh, relatively soon now, yeah. See, but yeah, it's 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 a two-one loss. It's not the worst situation in the world. I would have liked to take the the three points or even a point from that game, but it doesn't happen. Now, just before the contract negotiations, we had a twenty million bid from Real Madrid, and I know he's not in the starting lineup, but I still like to keep him around just in terms of depth. I said I I, I we need to add to the depth anyway. But I don't want to be losing a player of his quality. I know I've given him an important role because he didn't accept rotation. But I think keeping a, qu a player of his quality around as a backup centre half, he's it's, it's going to be nothing but beneficial to us. To us, unless obviously his morale drops, then at that point we will look to transfer this him and sell him on. But I'll give him a 32 million uh, pound or 32 million euro, sorry, release clause. And if a club is happier to pay that, then I'm happy enough to let him leave. I would have let him go for around 28 million to Real Madrid, but with a year left in his contract, I don't think anyone was going to be paying that, to be honest with you. So I sort of priced him out of that move. Um, I'll drop his current wages by about 2k a week, but I will give him a clean sheet bonus if he can reach 10 clean sheets in the season. Again, he's probably not going to play that much. And at the moment we're conceding a lot of goals first anyway, so he's he's got a, he's got a lot to prove if he's gonna if 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 he can get those ten clean sheets, especially in the limited game time that he's gonna be playing, then I'm I'm more than happy and to so pay him that bonus. Commences. So we've gone into another game in the Bundesliga now against Mainz. We're gonna simulate this game as you can see as well. And nothing. hopefully we can get back Alfonso to winning Davies. ways and get three points that we need after our loss and that. you know set the record straight against Munch and Gladbach. Not a great pass. So you've got Nabri who's gonna look out to Kingsley Coleman and he's gonna fire Not in a shot but it's gonna be held by Azenta. Back in the midfield, Kimmich plays it up to Lewandowski, to Nabry, to Lewandowski, and it's a shot well blocked. Alfonso Davis is in, and then Leroy Sane is absolutely just going to bury that. And we are up 1-0 now. Again, I, I didn't think mines were going to cause us a problem. Um, part of the reason why I decided to simulate the game may have been a bit disrespectful to mines, but I, I thought this was a, a th three point in the bag sort of situation and I didn't think that it was going to be anything that we were going to drop points. Again, apologies to any mines fans if you are watching uh, to, to be so disrespectful towards your team, but Bayern Munich and I think three points against in this game was was a definite for me. Alfonso Davis now out to Sane, back in to Davis and then into Lewandowski and we've got our second 
This man, oh, I just can't speak highly enough. Every time he scores, and I'm just over the moon to be honest with you. And it's it's, it's really good to see that he's doing so well, especially in the setup and the team. And he, he's easier for the series. Do you know what I mean? Uh, there, there's no way he's dropping enough that I'm going to be looking for a replacement starting striker in Lewandowski. Absolutely no chance. So there's no one that you could offer me at this moment in time that I would be looking to take. There have been a couple of comments on the older videos. Um, we've got one from a good friend of mine, you know, recommending we look into someone like Dabala or Hung Min Son. Uh, I said I'm not really looking to make big massive signings and take it away sort of from the realistic aspect of it. The baller for me was probably the most interesting recommendation in terms of, uh, of playing him just behind the striker. Um, but that's gonna that sort of signing will solely depend on how Muller performs once he comes back into the team and if I am gonna be looking for a replacement for him. Oh, lovely ball. Uh, in terms of the Son signing, I, I think we've got so many wingers, obviously with Sane, Coleman, Nabri and even Douglas Costa on loan. Well, I, I don't again, think that's going to be a signing I'm going to look into. I think for me, as I said, it's, it's mainly going to be backups and I'm sort of looking to know who you guys would recommend to come in as you know our second choice left back obviously Marcos Alonso was definitely someone I was looking at um, but again I'd like some suggestions you know I'm, I'm definitely looking to see if there's any players that buy in a link with in real life but I definitely need a second choice left back and I want to keep Alaba playing the central role because if I do have to move him up to left back that means it, it does mean I think Davis gets dropped, um, just purely on the basis that Alaba is that little bit higher rated. But again, this is where you guys help me make that decision. I've looked at Marcos Alonso or Emerson, both from Chelsea, um, and also Augustinson from uh, Werder Bremen. But with 3 0 up now, Nabri has scored there as well. So. Honestly, I said, really no surprise here to me to see us beat, beating Mines and winning this game. And we're actually defending pretty solidly for once. <laughs> uh, whether we keep the clean sheet or not, I actually can't remember. Uh, but fingers crossed we do get away with this now and get the clean sheet here. So, got a throw in. Uh, it's out there to... Who's number Serge 29? I believe oh, nice it's Coleman still. And it, it ends up in the box anyway. And there we are. We got our young man Xerxy on the score sheet. 4 0. And absolute demolition over Mines there. There, there, there. there was no chance really, was there? Let's be realistic. But here we go, guys. The big game for the episode. Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich. This is going to be the real test for us, I believe, in this episode and even to set us up for the series and the season. The, 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 the absolute solid team, Simeone loves to send his teams out to defend. But in terms of the quality they've got on that pitch, I wasn't... I wasn't expecting anything more than probably a one... 1-0, maybe a 1-1 one -one result. I thought we could probably hit them on the break, but All Black isn't going to make mistakes. And we've seen in the past few games a couple of mistakes that have been made in terms of finishing. But look who it is. The man is... <laughs> He's just not missing, is he, do you mean? But this is it. I thought if Lewandowski scored one, I think maybe Simeone might set his team out, you know. Just look to sit back a bit deeper and maybe try to hit us on the break. But you can't give a man of Lewandowski's quality that much space in the box. He's, he's going to punish you. I don't care who you've got in goals. But as I was saying, we've been quite wasteful with chances. And 
you know, you, you've seen it in previous games now, you know, with Sane and uh, Coleman, even Nabi, you know, with the odd one or two shots, they're just firing them straight at the keeper when they should be well placed, uh, just a bit out of reach with enough power. So I was kind of doubtful we were going to get a lot of goals in this game. But you can just see there's so much space being left with our Atletico Madrid, uh, Atletico Madrid defence that we're able to get shots off. And it's nice we got Thomas Muller back in the squad here, so we'll see if he makes an actual difference to the team. Obviously, we we definitely looking for a clean sheet, so I would I'd personally be happy with the 1-0. Obviously, I'd like to get a lot of goals in every game and every episode for you guys to make it that, to make it entertaining. Do you know what I mean? But games like this, we got to take what we can get, especially Champions League. But that's a great ball if you ask me from Sane and I tried to switch, I don't know why the game wouldn't let me switch, I tried to switch to uh, Kingsley Coleman but he, we got the shot away and it comes off both posts but there he is back in the team first start and Thomas Muller is in, in, in the goals. Already in for you know, Mr. Bayern Munich tapping that bad tap in his chest. This is his position. He's, he's, he's showing me, you know, you ain't replacing me. I might be 30 years old now, but you ain't getting better than me in this team and someone as committed as I am. But 2 0 up now, 42nd minute, and I said I would have taken a 1 0 win uh, in this sort of game with the Atletico Madrid side. But. Happy. It's, it's just a matter of maintaining this now. If we can add to it, then great. But 2-0 is a brilliant result for us against Atletico Madrid. I know a lot of sides do struggle to break them down. And we've managed to do it with ease at the moment. But another mistake and another penalty given away by David Alaba. Ah, I can't fault them, I don't think it was terrible in terms of positioning, but it's just a little bit of trickery and he ends up taking the man before he takes the ball, but Suarez steps up and Manuel Neuer is there, he's, he's, you know, he played the mind games, he made himself look big in goals and he said, you know, I'm not losing my clean sheet, not a chance. And it's quite a poor penalty from Suarez, to be honest with you. It's not it. Yeah, it's not it with enough pace. It's just. It was just, it was just overall a poor penalty. It wasn't placed greatly. It wasn't it hard enough? And I think it made Neuer's job a little bit easier. Not to take any credit away from him. I think it was a fabulous save and he read it well. But yeah, it was just good to see anyway. Glad to see that we've kept the clean sheet so far going into half time. Lewandowski and Thomas Muller on the score sheet. That's the best thing to see Thomas Muller back in the team and showing why he deserves to be there for me. So half time results if you want to pause but there guys take a quick Underway look to see what the results are around uh, the results are like in other grounds in the Champions League on this night. But 2 0 up half time against Atletico Madrid and you know I was happy with a 1 0 win to take the points but 2 0 I'm ecstatic at this stage. And it's just maintaining the clean sheet for me now, that's the important thing. You know, my defence hasn't been great leading up to this game. I know it's not been a lot of goals conceded, but it's definitely got to be an improvement. We've got to start stop with the slow starts and get allowing other teams to be in front. Sane is in ya, and is he going to finish this? Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> I won't lie. I was I had my doubts. I thought he took one touch too many there, but you've got to praise him. He he did take he did take it a bit too close to a black for my liking. But he smashed that and he got a shot away and well, that's, that's the important thing. And that's 3-0 now against Atletico Madrid, guys. I think this is a signal of intent for us, you know, that we're not just in it to take part. Obviously, we, we are looking to retain that crown. We won the treble last season and that's what we're aiming for this week. Carrasco. So 3 0. Atletico sort of playing around with the ball, but they're now to Joe Felix. He's got some tricky feet on him, and you know, he did make me think once or twice that I might slip up, to be honest with you, in terms of the defending and 
you know, they're in but Sane is just blitzed it past Jimenez there and he smashed it no mistakes there I can't fault them in this game my main concern was the amount of chances we've wasted but in a big game like this I can't uh, honestly he's absolutely he's just been important I know we were 2-0 up anyway but he's literally showed there was nothing for him to worry about and he's, he's sort of calming my nerves and you know making me think I shouldn't doubt him in those positions and that's a wonderful finish he's absolutely smashed that across the keeper so we're back again obviously Shula Keelan clear in the ball there uh, plays it into Muller plays it up to Xerxes at this point I've taken Lewandowski off he's absolutely knackered he's playing in every game Muller's holding the ball up now and he's just waiting for that run there from Tolisso and he's going to get a shot away and it's off all black and it rebounds back to Thomas Muller that man is just in the right place at the right time all the time quality finish I know there was an empty net but there's still a lot of work to do but they, that ball could still end up anyway and it's great so that is it now that's a five star performance against this Atletico Madrid team this is 5-0 I wasn't expecting this coming into it and I really was as I said expecting a 1-0 maybe a 1-1 draw I was expecting this team to be solid to break down and I couldn't be happier with how the boys performed honest to god and you can see it Diego Simeon is absolutely livid I don't know why he's applauding him there you can see it in his face he's absolutely tamping but this is it you've conceded five goals and I think this is us saying that marker is still there, do you mean we beat Bayern uh, Barcelona 8-2 last year and we've just put 5 past you. But that's how the game would go to finish guys, 5-0, Thomas Muller with 2 attempts of the entire game and 2 finishes and both of them were relatively, I wouldn't say lucky again it comes down to that place, he's just right place, right time and he's got his goals, do you know what I mean? But that's it, 5-0 and massive result against Atletico Madrid and I think this sets us up perfectly for the Champions League campaign. I know we won our first game, but this was the one I was concerned about, and we've just made easy work of a team of their quality. So what else are we going to do, do you know what I mean? So I look forward to the big games. I hope we get the big teams when we get into the next round. So normally obviously I'd sort of edit this out but I thought you know we'd leave it in let you see sort of what I would normally go through with obviously if I've got to criticize the team then I will I'm not afraid to allow the morale to drop I'm, I'm quite honest with the boys but for me be a, it's, it's all praise there's nothing that I can do or I could say badly about the team and the way they performed we you know kept our shape uh, and we just absolutely battered them. The boys up front were on fire. But yeah, 5-0 win. And that's it, guys. We've literally played through the entire month of September in that episode. And our next game now is going to be against Union Berlin in the Bundesliga. So you'll catch that in the next episode now. Uh, quick look through the Youth Academy, guys. Nothing massive. Um, just a quick scroll through. I do believe I change the development plan of one or two players and pretty much go from there. I'm excited about that, Luca Zimmerman. Uh, 17 years old, 71 rated, absolutely quality, and I, I, he's gonna be a potential future star. So I've taken a look at this guy's stats, and obviously I know he's set as a striker, but I've looked at him and I've thought, I think he might suit sort of the attacking midfield role. So I'm gonna train him in that position, and obviously con convert him to an attacking midfielder and then sort of develop him from there and see how we go. Obviously striker will still be a position that he can play and he'll still continue to develop if I did decide to play him in that role. But for me, I think that's what we're going to do. But look, another month of October, guys. We've got RB Salzburg, Leverkusen, Schalke, Wolfsburg, Augsburg and Union Berlin. So that's all to come. But that is the episode for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Later, idiots.